they see me, even see me, I should say, through the end of next week, Dia. All right, Jill, thank you. OPEC appears set to increase oil production, and Chipotle is rolling out a new menu. Jane King has these stories and more. It's today's business report. Reporting that OPEC voted to increase oil production by 1 million barrels a day. That should help to lower oil prices as Americans are dealing with the highest gas prices in four years. Well, Chipotle announced five new menu items, quesadillas, nachos, Mexican chocolate milkshakes, avocado tostadas, and a salad with avocado citrus dressing. The company hopes the new menu will bring people in for snacking during off meal times and hopes the temporary menu will be popular enough with customers to make it permanent. Uber has applied for a patent for a system that can predict a user state. In other words, new artificial intelligence could figure out if you're drunk and just how far gone you are from your normal state. CNN reports a smartphone would look at things like input accuracy, input speed, interface interaction behavior, device angle, and walking speed to determine if someone is drunk. It could also possibly take into account data about location, time of day, and other factors. Well, meditation is big business. The meditation app Calm was just valued at $250 million. Thanks to an increasing focus on mental health from both startups and larger companies, companies like Calm are now capturing the excitement of investors. From the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King with your business update. Jane King, thanks so much. Let's take a look and see how Friday stocks are doing. Dow Jones Industrial is rebounding up right now, 190 points to sit at 24,652. NASDAQ Composite, though, is dipping five points to sit right now at 7707. Just which vehicle takes the title of the most American made in 2018? Jeep Cherokee is the most American-made vehicle. That's according to the annual American-made index released by Cars.com. The index looks at which cars are manufactured in America, have the most American parts, and support the most American factory jobs. This year's rankings reveal four of the top ten American-made vehicles are actually produced by a foreign-based auto company. Jeep Cherokee is built in Illinois, although Jeep is a division of Fiat Chrysler that's headquartered in London. The Honda Odyssey minivan took the second spot, while the Honda Ridgeline pickup truck rounded out the top three. It's Take Your Dog to Work Day means many of us will get the opportunity to share our workspaces with our furry friends. Pet Sitters International started the annual day in 1999 as a way to promote pet adoptions and has grown from there. At least 20% of workers will celebrate today by taking their pooch to the office. A new study also proves the power of a pet-friendly work environment. According to Wellness Natural Pet Foods, 37% of Americans would sacrifice benefits, including vacation time, for a dog-friendly workplace. The American Heart Association reports improving CPR training could save more lives. New research shows online and in-person CPR courses are falling short. Many people never really master the technique or they forget what to do. That's why experts suggest courses should offer shorter but more frequent learning sessions with more real life experiences. They say continuous training of instructors is also important. A new study finds most adults with severe allergies do not use prescribed epinephrine in an emergency. 89% of those surveyed said that they filled their prescription for an epinephrine auto injector but almost half said that they didn't have it with them during their most severe allergic reaction. Another 20% said that they didn't know how to use it. One woman says that nothing could ruin her birthday parade. We're going to explain that in today's News of the Weird. 